Hello everybody, how's it going? It's me, Krendor, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new hub city for the War Within, Dorn Agal. So I've already kind of looked around, so I already know some of it, but there's still some stuff I haven't seen, and I thought I'd go ahead and make a video, because as somebody who makes pointless videos about the art and aesthetic of World of Warcraft, I think uh, I'm probably most qualified to truly explore uh, all the fun little artistic and aesthetic things of this area. So here we are. Uh, on the outskirts of the city, as you can see here, there's a few ways into it. Well, there's actually yeah, one down here. I don't even know what this one is, though. But there's two, like, big ways in. And this one's probably the coolest. It's the Crossroads Plaza. And as you can see here, it's just a big road that leads up to Dornagal. So here it is. Very, uh, very mountainous. A lot of greenery all over. This gives me a lot of Hinterlands vibes, is what I was telling uh, the stream earlier when I was making a... Uh, not video, when I was when I was streaming, obviously, but... Um, a lot of people were like, oh, it's like Dragonflight, it's like the Dragon Plate. I do not think so. This very much gives me Eastern Kingdoms aesthetic, and I love that, because Dragonflight, to me, felt a lot more... Uh, I want to say whimsical, in a sense, right? Like, it felt a lot more fantasy, whimsical, kind of like over the top. This feels much more Warcrafty. This feels more down to earth. Okay, so, yeah, you get it? Because they're earthen. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it, it very much feels more Eastern Kingdoms. Like we're in the mountains. I do get those Hinterlands vibes, uh, you know, but like a modern Hinterlands, right? I'm not saying it's exactly like Hinterlands. It's just that's the vibe that I get. So uh, just taking a look around from uh, the start of when you enter, it's pretty cool. You've got this big forge area in the middle. Um, you've got up over here, this big building, uh, which I actually don't know what this building is. I don't think I went in here. I went in here. So let's just go down here and check out what this is. This is the Keeper's Terrace. And Oh, wait, never mind. I did go in here. This is Foundation Hall. So this is like uh, you have your portals here, right? You have Orgrimmar. You got Stormwind. You have these four thrones with uh, Merricks, one of the council people sitting there. You got some keepers of Renown up here. So this is, you know, the 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 Renown area, right? This is where you're going to go to port around, do all that stuff. So that's that. Uh, then let's go ahead and mount up here. There's a big crystal area. Don't know what that is, but cool. <laughs> uh, here is one of the uh, meeting stones for the Rookery, one of the new dungeons. You can see... Uh, well, it's really just <laughs> a big gate with a portal, nothing too special about it. Uh, but one of my favorite areas is right down here that I found. So as you can see, this is a hot spring spa. So they've got a bunch of drinks right here. You can see there's people chilling in the spa. They've got a uh, soaking residence. <laughs> um, you can walk in with them, walk around. You see you got some you know, more drinks. I don't know if it's like, I think it's mead, because there is a lot of mead uh, that I've seen. You've got some uh, relaxing residents here. This dude is, <laughs> this looks like the type of guy you would see at the bar, just leaning up against the wall. Uh, relaxing residents here. There were some injured residents I want to show you, but uh, it's, uh, you'll see, never mind. So hot spring residents, you can see here, they are, this dude is passed out, I believe. Yep, he is definitely passed out. Uh, in here, we got some... Uh, this is one of the new forges I've seen that I also think... This might be a hot spring next to the forge. I have no idea, but it looks like a fire bath. Uh, you can see there, fire bath healer. They got another resident. So I think this is part of the spa. However, there are a lot of buildings very similar in structure to this building, as uh, you'll probably see. Uh, then over here, we got some more off-duty storm guards. So that's the that's the spa area. But I want to go down to where we were previously. And there's this big forge. So this is kind of the center point of all this stuff. And it's very similar to Iron Forge, which the forge is the center of everything, right? So you've got the foregrounds, machine smith. He's kind of working the machine. I don't know how he's doing it, but he's doing it. <laughs> but uh, if we go down here, you can see they got the, the forge workers. They're all working there. You go inside and there's this big hydraulic press. And I'm going to let you know right now, you can die to this hydraulic press. I am one of the people that died in there. 
And when you do die, this person's like, another one. Or I don't know if it was her exactly, but somebody around here is like, another one. So that's a funny little thing. This is the new elevator boss, pretty much. So uh, if you need a quick way to, you know, kill your character, <laughs> there it is. But a uh, really cool forge. Love the way this all looks. You can see just walking around. Really big forge. They're like spinning some blades and stuff to keep this thing going. He's running the, the main machinery. Uh, if you're an engineer, this is where you're going to be going. I am an engineer on my warrior, so I'll be here quite a bit. There's also, you know, all the, the blacksmithing, everything you would think. Uh, that would be in a forge, is here. So, all the other professions are pretty much in this area. You've got mining over here. Uh, this is, it's essentially the, the profession area, right? Over here is more professions. We've got, uh, enchanting. We've got jewel crafting. We got more jewel crafting. Uh, I believe herbalism. You got inscriptions. So, you know, this is, this is the big profession area. And it's kind of funny. They're, like, watering all the plants with their abilities or whatever let's see they're gonna do it again here they go there it is see they're watering the plants i'm not gonna lie at first i i did think they were peeing on it <laughs> i straight up was like what like look at that it kind of looks like they're peeing on it. uh whatever but uh that's what they're doing we've got you know some scroll vendors so just a really nice profession area i i really like this area quite a bit uh, you got transmogrifiers you got the stables He's got his uh, Savage Blue Battle Turtle here. Uh, stable Keeper. Anything in here? The oh yeah, Transmogrifier we've already seen. Uh, then taking a look over this way. Actually don't remember what's in here. This is oh crafting orders. So this is your crafting order place. It's a it's a place. <laughs> I did not mean to fall down there. That's alright. Let's go back up. Uh, really I really like the architecture. Uh, I always say that wrong. Someone's going to make fun of me. But I really like the architecture <laughs> of uh, of all these buildings and everything. It's just, it. I just, I don't know. I just like it. You know, sometimes just, you always say you'll like things and some people are like, why do you like that? Sometimes you just do. It's like the, it's like that old commercial with Apple Jacks. You'd be like, why do these kids like Apple Jacks? You know, like, you know what? We just do. All right. <laughs> anyway, here's another area that I really like. So you've got the ether house. This is where you go for uh, void storage, more trans transmogrification. Um, you have the barber here. You also have the engraver. I don't know what they're engraving, but they're engraving something. The polisher. Uh, diversion. But here's the thing. We're in like this kind of dark alley area. And this is kind of you know, hidden away. You've got the, you got the bright city stuff all over here. And then over here, we got this dark alley and you're like, oh, what is this? This is kind of a little creepy down here, right? You've got the drink vendor and you look around. She's definitely selling potions, uh, but they are poison. She's definitely selling poisonous potions. Like you're like, oh, potions. Then you're like, oh, wait, that's poison. That's, that's looking a lot more like poison than me. Uh, plus just look at it. Just, they got like one eye. They're kind of like, hey, hey, hey. You know, you, you can tell. Uh, this is just another way to get here. I believe this leads kind of up to a different part of the city. So it's like a big tunnel. Uh, you've got Grifta. Dude, Grifta's back. There he is. He's got his amulets <laughs> once again. Uh, you've got a couple other people, junk vendors, stuff like that. Locksmiths. You have these rogues who are gambling over here. And, you know, displaced rogues just looking to assassinate somebody or something. You got a blade vendor. And then you have the Black Market Auction House, which is all the way back here. So, uh, it really is just kind of, whoa, that's a big rat. That's a big rat right there. That would be in Pointless Top 10 Rat. Wait, we can click on him? Oh my god, he's on your shoulder. All right, well, there it is, folks. <laughs> you can have a rat on your shoulder. This is fantastic. I'm easily amused. Even stays on. Look at that. All right, so that's that. So it's kind of the, you know, little alley area. Then, uh, you can see this is where we were earlier. Let's go down here again. Actually, I don't know what's at this part. Here's a cart that's just kind of driving around. I don't know if you can, like, hop in the cart. I guess we'll test it for science. Uh, you cannot hop in the cart. There you go. We have tested it. Blizzard, please fix. Also, I can see my rat on my shoulder. Good. 
Uh, here is the Brand Bronzebeard area, which is the Dragon Scale Expedition. Uh, Sir Finley's here for Delve Treasures. So this is like where you go to get all your Delve Treasures and stuff. Uh, we go up this way. Uh, we got some people sitting at these tables. This is the innkeeper. So here's the inn. May as well go in here. Nice little fireplace. It's like he's drinking some mead. Uh, we got Anduin chilling here with Magni Bronzebeard. Mamma mia. Yeah, nice little table of food. And got a cooking trainer. Another Varit. Dude, this is a really nice fireplace. Just like sitting here. You just check out that fire. Really good stuff. And I don't know what she's cooking. Looks like she's... I can't even move. What's she cooking? Like a box of minerals? <laughs> Looks like Easter eggs or something. I don't know, but really nice fire right here. And we got cooking supplies. We got innkeeper assistant. Looks like this goes a little deeper. Let's see, where are we going here? Looks like here's all the barrels of mead. We have uh, Theragar's rest. <laughs> this rat is just like floating around here. <laughs> He's like, eh. Uh, oh, here's the rat buff. Shoulder rat, you have a friend. I just love the way he moves as I walk. Like, obviously, when I zoom out, he's on my shoulder. But when you zoom all the way in, it just it's, it's kind of freaky, to be honest. Uh, we got some books here. We got more beds. There's, like, one bar area I found. I thought it was here. There's, like, some people in the beds of a bar, and it just says injured residents. And I'm like, are they injured or are they, like, wasted? You know? <laughs> I was like, I don't know which one it is. This is a nice little relaxing uh, bar area here as well. You can sit down here, have some drinks. Uh, great for role-playing or something. How do I get out of here? <laughs> and over here. Okay. Well, get out. Now we will go... Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, here's the Flight Master. Got these Swift Cloud Rooks. Look pretty cool. There was a part earlier that was like, we're gonna fly pretty slow, and it flew at like normal flight speed. And I was like, what? <laughs> People are so used to dragon flying now that normal flying speeds just like this is unbelievably slow. I can't believe this. Uh, here is the oh the trading post. So here's where all the trading Welcome post stuff is located post. now. Uh, as you can see here. Although I imagine you can still go to Orgrimmar and everything to get it or Stormwind, whichever. But uh, you know whatever you can go here as well. Uh, then let's see. I kind of want to see what this little road over here is. Like it's an entrance, because I did not see it previously. Let's see. Oh, it's like a mining cart entrance. So here's a big telescope. We got some peacekeepers on the sides. Yeah, let's see what we got down here. Can you actually get into the city, or is this just like some random thing? I think it's a random thing. Yeah, so it's just it's just like a mining. A aesthetic mining cart thing, which is pretty cool. I like that. Uh, it looks like there's a mine over here. There's probably some quests you can do here. I imagine that everything's in the game. Oh, there's Nerubians. So, yep, you got Nerubians taking over that. Nice little pool of water here. Very nice. You got some big snails. Dude, look at these snails. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> look at this snail. That is one massive snail, dude. That is a massive snail. All right. Uh, let's head back into the city. Uh, there, there's some cool stuff in the outer parts of the zone. I was flying around earlier, kind of up here and stuff. I found quite a bit. Uh, let's go... Let's see, where haven't I gone? I believe there's a place up top that's like the political area. So let's head up there. Yeah, this area. Which is... Oh, wait, no, this is where we went earlier. That's what I was showing earlier, never mind. Uh, here's a big waterfall. That's pretty neat. <laughs> is this the political area? This might be. It's something. Let's find out what it is. So we have... Uh, it's just a house. So like I was saying earlier, there's a lot of buildings with this similar style of construction. Uh, it is a very cozy style. It's just... There's a lot of them. Uh, then we go in here and... See you yet again. Another one of these. Although this one has pretentious Dornigal citizen in it. So that's cool. Uh, and then over here, this is the Council Words Rye. Oh, yeah, I think this takes us to the political area. I guess we'll find out. 
It's a really big tunnel. Very rem reminiscent of the Iron Forge tunnels. You know how when you're running around Dunborough or Loch Modan, you have those big tunnels? I think that's the inspiration they got for a lot of these tunnels. Uh, that's, that's just what I think of right off the bat. So, then we're up top. So we have the... Uh, is this the is this the area? I think it is. I believe it is. In fact, this looks very like Loch Modan-ish, right? That looks like a big time Loch Modan house. So then we got a, another house that looks the same as those. So yeah, a lot of these are just like houses, but still cool. So yeah, you can see it's like built within the mountain. It is very Loch Modan-y. Lock Modani. And here's another one. This one's got the upstairs forge and the downstairs forge, which is cool. But yeah, a lot of these houses just very similar construction. Uh, we got something there. Here is a... What is this? We got peacekeepers kind of training up here. We're on like the outskirts of the city right now. So you can go over here. See more peacekeepers. This kind of just leads up into the mountains over there. I'm trying to find where the political area was that I saw those things. Maybe it was back this way. That's where we were. Hold on, let's see where this is. Uh, is this just... Oh, wait, yeah. This is something. Okay, let's go in here. Dornagall. Oh, I think this goes outside now. Dude, these are some crazy tunnels. Like, look at these tunnels. We got the Speakeasy Rune Guard here. Oh, I think this is going to take us to the, the alley. Guess we'll find out. I'm pretty sure this goes to the alley. They got some, you know, drippy noises in here. The Fissure. All right, I guess it's taking us to the Fissure. Maybe this is the alley? Yeah, there's Griff, though. Look at that. So now we're in the alley. So there's a lot of tunnels like that all over the place. Uh, so now we're back to this main forge area. This is... What is this place? Oh, here's the bank. All right. Very nice sunflower paintings. <laughs> you could have a seat. Uh, you got the bankers here. More paintings over there. You got my rat friends still here. And here are the giant vaults. Look at these vaults. Very cool. Uh, you know, it's a bank, you know, nothing crazy, but still pretty neat. Get out of here now. Let's mount back up. Uh, and then, oh yeah, there's Sir Finley. We saw him earlier. And... I swear, there's just like political something somewhere. I'm like... I'm 100% sure I'm just trying to find it. Because I'm like, where was it? We already saw this. This is the, the hot spring. Maybe they were like up here and I'm just crazy. Here's the foundation hall. This is pretty cool. You could like, whoa! <laughs> um, I thought that was glass. I was like, dude, this is cool. There's like a glass window you can look down. <laughs> okay, it was not glass. Uh, oh, it might've been up here. I'm out of yeah, I guess that would make sense. Hold on, I think it's up here. I think this is it. If not, I'm on ideas. I'm not gonna lie. All right, here we go. Let's see if it's up here. I'm pretty sure it is, though. Okay, we go up here. Hey, okay, got some cool flooring. It's not. There's some cool windows. You can, like, look out. Although, it's kind of like a prison cell window, if anything. It's all... <laughs> a little freaky. All right, we go back down. Uh, this area... This area actually does feel a little reminiscent of Valdraken with, like, the big dragon... Uh, dragon stained glass stuff up there. It kind of does remind me of that a little bit, but uh, that's that's all right. I still think it looks pretty cool. Dude, where's the political? It's it's somewhere around here. Maybe it was up here? No, but here is a bronze timekeeper for dragon flying stuff. Oh, this might be it. I think this is it. Fire bath attendant. This has got to be it. There's like nowhere else I can go. <laughs> Council guard, petitioner. Yeah, this is it. Okay, I did find it. So here they are. You have a bunch of petitioners up here. Uh, if you go into this area, you'll see we got the council words clerk. 
Uh, so it's just, it's a lot of political earthens. <laughs> it's another spot. You got the representative, you got the luxury cinder brew supplier. So I think there is, you know, some sort of political connection with the cinder brew, the, the mead everybody's drinking and the, the representatives, the, the people running the town. So who knows? There may be a little backstory there. I know there is a cinder brew mead style dungeon so that wouldn't surprise me in the very least hey, Ooh, we're actually getting a little music here look at that we got some music all right let's see where this tunnel leads to but uh pretty much that's the that's the main city hub so i'm curious to what everybody thinks let me know down in the comment section below what you think of this new city hub i'm i'm loving it i think it's really cool i mean listen Go back, compare this to Ouroboros. I mean, you can compare anything to Ouroboros. It's going to be better than Ouroboros. <laughs> uh, but it's spacious. It's outside. It's up in the hills, the mountains. It's got, uh, you know, everything in a localized area. You can pretty much mount up everywhere. I just, I think it's great. I'm really enjoying this new city. Uh, and I'm just, uh, uh, I mean, when you go back to some of the, some of the old main cities are kind of whatever. But like, you know, Dalaran's still a solid one. Like, Shatrath was cool. Obviously, like, Org, Stormwind, you know, the classics. But I think this is a pretty solid city. Like, I I like everything I've seen from it. And it kind of fits the theme of the expansion. It fits the Earthen. So let me know down in the comments section below what you think. So thank you very much for watching. If you're new here, click the subscribe button, follow along. Or you go watch some pointless top tens. If you want to see some more stuff in World of Warcraft that I make top ten lists out of, go watch them. Okay? Okay. See ya.